that there is no power in the universe, including you, God. I, as a Jew, am stronger than you. What? I am raising money to help new Muslims pray for free, from a guided prayer mat to a personal tutor to help them at the start of their journey. Donate and get the reward for every single prayer they do thereafter. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The Israel-Palestine issue is really bringing to light that which was hidden, that which was concealed, that which somewhat blended in and it's now bringing these people and these things out for the whole world to see. That's one of the things that we're seeing emerging from this. I don't know how to describe him, <laughs> you know what I mean? He goes by the name of Rabbi Shmuley and he's been labeled the most famous rabbi in America. So surely this guy has some standards, surely this guy has some shame, but what we're seeing with again this whole Israel-Palestine thing is the Zionists are becoming triggered to such a level that it's just become entertainment for us. You know what I mean? If I wasn't fasting, I probably would have sat here with some popcorn. Let's look at the first clip of his. So apparently this is some Jewish festival, yeah? My question is, what's he doing to the kid? And where are the kid's parents? Like is that okay? Like is that not concerning to you? You know what I mean? This guy, okay maybe maybe I'm misconstruing it, you know what I mean? Have a look at this other clip where he's accusing certain individuals of doing abhorrent crimes. Where is he touching the girl? Just glory, hallelujah! Is that not irrefutable proof that this guy should not be allowed near kids. And he's not no average Joe, here he is with Oprah Winfrey, here he is with pop icon Michael Jackson, here he is with God knows who else but I think I made my point, you know what I mean? This guy debated Norman Finkelstein and Muhammad Hijab and I think they messed him up too much, you know what I mean? Like I think the thinking faculties, I think he's got wires crossed but I haven't come across a famous Zionist or Jewish personality that's come out and said we disown this guy, yeah? Ew, that's not what we represent. Why on earth is this the, fam the most famous rabbi? And why have you guys not refuted that crap out of him? If a very famous imam, the most famous imam in the UK did something, rest assured me there would be refutation videos going left, right and centre. And here is another one, just just look at this guy. So he was having a, a tussle with Candace Owens, he wanted to get her fired because she was against Israel and promoting Christ being a Christian. So look at what this guy does. This is not a Christian child, this is a Jewish child. But if it would be, I got my Christian blood. <laughs> Mmm, spicy, delicious. That's a child in his hand when he's making the joke of drinking Christian blood. Again, why is he allowed around kids? I don't understand. And I love it. You know what? The more videos this guy releases, the more we don't have to say anything. You know what I mean? Like this guy is doing the bidding for us. Absolute pure entertainment. And this is a very clear example of the distinction between Zionism and Judaism especially Orthodox Judaism. And here's what he says. That there is no power in the universe including you God, creator of heaven and earth, he who fills the infinite expanse of, of space. I as a Jew am stronger than you. My name is Israel, he who wrestles with God and is victorious. I, I don't know, like I'm sorry is this not the line that can't be crossed? Is he really giving preference of Zionism of his identity over God who's given him that identity, according to him anyway. Doesn't God transcend that identity? Isn't the whole purpose of who we are and where we are to develop a connection with God? And labels are stuff that come as a result of that secondary? This guy has flipped it mate. Is is this okay to, to some people? Is this the mainstream belief? Well I certainly hope not. Because if people aren't speaking out, people are going to assume it is. I, I was just looking at these clips that I know some of you guys are at work or you don't have time to look at this stuff but I thought I'd give you a bit of entertainment and show you this is the self-destructive nature. You know if you promote dhulm, your yeah, oppression, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a non-Muslim, clear oppression, if you promote it you will be disgraced. Your own nature, your own psyche 
will fight against you. And this is exactly what we're seeing over here. The guy's body is viscerally reacting to the nonsense that he is trying to feed the other people. His own body doesn't agree with it, frankly. And any reasonable minded person, emotionally intelligent person knows Israel has no leg to stand up. Yeah, especially with what's going on, what has been going on. So there you go, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.